So there are some things that you can do to improve your experience on your OLED and then also prevent burning. Well, number one is clear type. This is just a setting in Windows that helps you uh, change uh, how the way the text looks. And if you're having issues like with chromatic aberration or a sort of a faded outline around text, this will definitely improve it. Uh, I think it's very subjective, but I feel before and after it actually made a difference. Number two is you should definitely hide your desktop icons on your desktop to prevent burning. And one of them you will actually have to go into the settings to get rid of, of and that's the recycle bin. You should just go into the uh, settings and then the themes and remove this. Number three is the uh, taskbar. I would hide this to prevent it actually getting stuck or any of these pixels getting burnt in over time. So just make you sure you go in here and then you toggle that. Number four is a lot of people recommend a black background, but the problem with that is, is you have then one area of the screen that's very lit, whereas the rest are not. So the probably better scenario is picking some grayish pictures, maybe not something too over um, lit, and then just create a folder and then uh, chuck a bunch of pictures in there and then just have them cycle and set it to one minute so you're not playing the same photos all the time because again that would be worse uh, but yeah just uh, build up a library there of nice pictures number five set a screensaver to black and uh, set it to one minute use these settings here this will mean whenever you have to go afk the screen will go black uh, when it's not in use and that, that's definitely helped me a couple of times number six Every four hours, you'll get an OSD prompt where the screen will ask you to refresh your pixels. Uh, I would recommend doing this because uh, it, pro it probably is tied into the warranty. And if you're not doing it, you might actually damage your screen. And finally, the last one, number seven. This is the uh, big refresh that happens on uh, most OLED monitors and TVs, or I should say all of them really. At 500 to 1000 to 2000 hours of use time, usually the uh, pixels will have gotten stuck or you will have some sort of image retention where you have ghosting. Um, this is when the screen itself should do this refresh. This is at least how the LG TVs behave. I suspect this manual pixel refresh that we have in the OSD here will do this, but I can't say for 100% that it actually is what it is. It may be that they've disabled it, but I would err on the side of caution and just don't use this until we actually have confirmation of what it is. Every four hours when it prompts you to refresh the pixels, do that as often as you can. If you're in the middle of a game, then just do it the following hours. It might be that this is to compensate for that if you cannot do it at, at when you're being prompted. But in my experience, these ones are the big ones and you shouldn't really do them until it's absolutely necessary. So yeah, thank you for watching. Drop a comment if you have anything you want me to clarify.